Hello students, I want to welcome you to today's special edition, a continuation of the last lesson we had on the laws of indices. I'm still your teacher, Damian Wilson. Please join me as we move straight to the calculations on the second law of indices. Thank you very much. We are looking at the second law of indices, law number two. And the law states that x raised to the power a divided by x raised to the power b is equal to x raised to the power a minus b. This is just the second law. We're going to illustrate with some few examples now. What are the examples? Number one, let's see some illustrative examples. Illustrative examples. Number one, two raised to the power five divided by two raised to the power two. Remember, like I explained in the last class we had, the first law and the second law are almost the same. Where you have the terms in index form must have the same base, but different or equal powers. The base here is x, the base here is x, and there's a division sign here. Now, all you need to do is Take one of the x to represent all and then subtract the powers. That's a minus b. But in the first law, we added the powers. But in this law now, we're subtracting the powers. So we apply it here now, practically. 2 raised to the power 5 divided by 2 raised to the power 2 will give you 2 raised to the power 5 minus 2. And that's equal to 2 raised to the power 3, which is equal to 8. That's example number 1. Example number 2, we have 4 raised to the power 6 divided by 4 raised to the power 3. 4 raised to the power 6 divided by 4 raised to the power 3 will be equal to 4. Take one of the bases, 4, to represent all, and then subtract the powers. 6 minus 3. That gives you 4 raised to the power 3. And then 4 raised to the power 3 is equal to what? 64. Example number 3. On this second law, we have m raised to the power 12 divided by m raised to the power 9. Applying the second law, you just write one of the m to represent all and then subtract the powers. 12 minus 9, that will give you m raised to the power 3. Like in the first law, we cannot go beyond this. We cannot go beyond this because m is a letter. It's not a numeral. We'll stop at m raised to the power 3. But in this case, in the first example and the second example, we have um, 4 raised to the power 3, which we simplify to 64, 2 raised to the power 3, which was simplified to 8. And, but here we can't go beyond this. Example number 4. Example number 4 is 36p raised to the power 8 divided by. 6p raised to power 5. That's a way to solve this. Just say 36p raised to power 8 over, because the usual sign still means same thing over, 6p raised to power 5. 6 here 1, 6 here 6. So you have 6p, p raised to power 8 divided by p raised to power 5 will now become p raised to power 8 minus 5. That will give you 6p raised to power what? 3. That's the answer. Then finally, example number five. Example number five. Example number five. Let's look at number five example. And that is um, 81 m raised to the power seven n raised to the power five divided by nine m n raised to the power three. You can also say solve by saying 81 m raised to the power 7 n raised to the power 5 over division sign is same as over just like what we did in the example number 4 over 9 m n raised to the power 3 9 here 1 9 here 9 so we're going to have 9 m raised to the power 7 divided by m will give you m raised to the power 7 minus 1 because here the power of m is 1 and then n raised to power 5 
divided by n to the power 3 will give you n to the power 5 minus 3. That will give you 9m raised to the power 6 and raised to the power 2. Okay? Now, you have to solve these assignments on this second law of indices. I have about four questions for you to solve here. Number one is 7 to the power 5 divided by 7 to the power 2. Y raised to the power 22 divided by Y raised to the power 12. Number three is 8P raised to the power 16. Q raised to the power 12 divided by 4P Q raised to the power 3. Number four is 0 0.25 A raised to the power 10. B raised to the power 7 divided by 16 AB. WhatsApp your answers to 08032724134. I want to hear see your questions and your, your solutions on this number. WhatsApp it to this number. Thank you very much.